Well, now on your feed at five, will we really need a COVID booster this fall? New research out today thinks that's unlikely, but it could depend on the virus itself. Our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, joins us to explain tonight. Hi, Monica. Hey, Sarah. A study in the journal Nature showed very high immune responses in people who received the mRNA va vaccines that could potentially last years. That could mean vaccinated people will be protected over the long term, at least against the existing existing coronavirus variants, but older adults, people with weak immune systems and those who need immunosuppression drugs may need those boosters and those who survived COVID and were later vaccinated may never need one. How will we know when it's time? Big time breakthrough infections. If there is an increase in hospitalizations and deaths in the vaccinated population, um, which as of yet, we're not seeing a huge increase. There's a few upticks here and there where there's been a couple extra cases in vaccinated individuals, but not necessarily with severe or uh, deadly COVID-19, just, you know, symptomatic. So we don't have to worry about it for now because we know the vaccine is giving us protection against the Delta variant. Now the concern again is if the virus virus mutates even more and the CDC doesn't think there's enough data to warrant boosters right now either. And Dr. Edwards thinks extra unused vaccine should be sent to countries that actually need it because if we can get the virus controlled elsewhere, it will only help us manage it here. Makes sense. And I think that'll be welcome news for a lot of people. Not one more shot to get, yeah. at least for now. Sure. All right, Monica, thanks so much.